Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you a TV review or episode review your way. And as you guys can tell by the thumbnail, I am tackling, finally, La Brea Season 3 finale, or the series finale in this particular matter. It was only six episodes long, and this was the second part of, I guess, Going Home. That's what it was called. The episode it was 62 minutes long. Finally managed to watch it. And I go, you know what? Watch it on Valentine's Day. I'm going to post a review there. It's going to be spoilers. You guys know how my TV reviews are. If you haven't seen it already, don't watch the video. So, spoiler alert. I'm going to ruin a few little details here. I'm not going to go through the whole damn thing. I don't work that way. You guys know better than that. Watch it for yourself. But season three finished. 62 minutes long. Gavin and the crew going home. Glad. I'm telling you, it was happy endings everywhere you had your little action your little drama where is eve they're trying to figure out where the hell they're going back in 1965 they're finding kids who were hurt on surgery you know you had the doctor's daughter that they found she needed to go back to the modern time to save her life because they didn't have antibiotics you had gavin trying to find his son and then they end up finding him on the truck they're going through different things then you have uh the psychiatrist looking for his uh, wife who was attacked by dinosaurs. You even have a T-Rex doing a little bit damage to this whole damn thing. And I'm telling you, it was well put. And I can t honestly say, at the end of it, I was happy. Yes, there was a couple of, you know, MacGuffins that kind of conveniently came their way. Like the stealth plane. And they can plop a stupid little uh, chip so they can fly back through their time. And everybody goes through their own little lives. You know, you had Scott going up with the girl who got away. You got the uh, couple, young couple, the, the troublemaker and his uh, girlfriend who are pregnant. Baby's healthy and strong. You had uh, the doctor staying behind in 10,000 BC because that's where he wanted to be with his new wife and stuff like that. He found himself there. Uh, you have uh, the doc finding his daughter. They're reuniting. Everything kind of goes well. Then you have Gavin taking his kids because they're still missing Eve. Where the hell is Eve? Eve's going to meet you here, blah, blah, blah. No, so he kind of got good with his sister. They end up going to this tree that they, you know, where you had a couple of flashbacks in the early episode, this episode in particular, that she told them that she was pregnant. So that tree had meaning in La Brea. So they end up going there. And then, of course, they're waiting for hours. The kids are ready to give up. She's not coming. Maybe she didn't make it. All that fun stuff. And, of course, conveniently, who comes up the damn hill? Her. And she's late because of traffic. So I guess that's a normal thing in L.A., that's what happens, and then they all have letters that she wrote to them when she was going there in 1965 when she was trapped there, apparently, and she gave them all, and then they go home. They all walk home together, and, you know, like I said, is it exactly what I expected? Yes. Was it something that, oh, my God, I'm going to be taken surprised by? No, but it made you feel good at the end of the series. If this is how it was going to end, because it was already six episodes only instead of being maybe the usual 10 or 12 whatever the hell they usually do it nowadays on tv especially but i think overall the series ended well i love the characters yeah some wonky shit went on here and there but that's how lost was as well if you didn't like the characters involved you're not gonna like the damn show and me i like the characters i love the different little storylines individual and how they all kind of tied together and but at the end of the day it's about gavin and his family Eve finding their way to each other, you know. Yes, they lost Levi the last episode and stuff like that, you know. But it tied up loose ends very well, considering how it had to end up, right? But I loved it. I liked it. I'm not going to say it's the greatest damn thing on TV that I watch. But for the most part, I'm pleasantly pleased. And I'm very happy that they pretty much stuck the landing for La Brea. Season 3 finale and the series finale, in my personal opinion. So... There you go, guys. That's my quick thoughts. I would tell you guys to check La Brea out for yourself. Don't listen to anybody. Just watch the damn thing. Yeah, it doesn't make sense most of the time, but you know what? You're there for the characters, and that's what makes the story, in my personal opinion, the series. So I was happy. There you go. So like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other reviews, guys. As I come across new movies and all that crap, I'll be bringing your videos away, but I've been taking a little low because of surgery. So hope you guys are a little patient there. And uh, stay tuned, you know, there'll be stuff dropping here and there when I can do so. I just need time to heal. 
and uh, take care of the king because there won't be no king sitting on top of this throne if it don't do that. So until next time, be the hell good, and I'll see you where? Right here on YouTube land.